Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will see how to install antivirus in a Windows 10 machine. So I will be taking two client machines installed in VMware Workstation. So let's begin with the installation. In order to begin with the installation, we will need a setup file to run the installation. I am over here in the Sophos Central. I have taken the login to the Sophos Central account and scrolling down from the left side over here, we will go to endpoint protection. Going to endpoint protection, you will click on protect device. And then over here, you will find the option download complete Windows installer. We will click on this in order to download the setup file. So once this setup file is downloaded, you will simply copy into the machine where we need to run the installation. This machine I am supposed to install, so I will just copy the file setup file over here and I will begin the installation. Just double click on this and click on yes and the setup will start now. The installation has begun over here now. So now it is asking that restart recommended. So first recommended that you restart the computer after computer before installation. Okay, click on continue over here and then it is asking to install. Click on install button over here. Now the installation process has started. It will take around 10 minutes for installation. So in order to reduce the size of our tutorial, I will simply pause the video till the installation process is completed. So guys over here we have successfully installed Sophos into our client machine as you can see the installation is successful click on finish button what I'm going to do is I will simply restart the machine and till that time I will be installing uh, the Sophos antivirus in one of our client machine more the procedure will be same so I won't be repeating so that our video size becomes big I will simply restart and keeping the video pause I will install it in one more machine So I will just pause the video and I will install it another machine as well. So guys, now we have installed antivirus on both of the machines, uh, Windows 10 machines, which we have installed in VMware Workstation. And you can see like uh, from over here, you will be opening this Sophos endpoint agent. Double click on this. And you can see over here that the Sophos endpoint agent is successfully installed. Let me give you the brief overview. From the status, you will see what is the status of your device for the endpoint. So it is saying your device is protected and no malware or PUA is found. Then you have an event options over here, which will show all the events which are related to like uh, whether it is a medium priority event, high priority event, and what kind of event it will show. It will show you the malware, the potentially unwanted application that is PUA, the web threat if there is any malicious behavior if it detects that will be shown over here when you will be configuring the policies and according to the policies it will like if you have blocked the control items and if it is getting blocked that also log you will it will be shown over here if there is any kind of malicious traffic exploits each and every detail event will be shown over here and then comes a third tab is detection tab from here you can just uh, execute the scan and thereafter if you will see over here there is a help button and then about if you click on about over here then you have an option to update manually like if you click on update now it will start to update and finally you will see a troubleshooting button over here like in the end of this series we will be doing a tutorial on the troubleshooting over there i will show you exactly what is this requirement uh, open endpoint self-help tool why this is required this I will show you apart from that there is a button called admin sign-in so guys uh, over here like when you are installing a uh, antivirus usually if you are, although you have an administrator right for this machine you won't be able to uninstall this antivirus let me show you by doing so I will go to control panel over here
since I have a limited resources, the, my machine became a little slow. But anyhow, we will be able to manage and complete this tutorial. So going to control panel, I will be trying to uninstall Sophos from here. This is Sophos endpoint edition. I will try to uninstall and see what it gives me. I don't have administrator right for this machine, so it is asking me for the administrator username and password. After giving this, if you will see it will whether it will start the installation process or it will ask me for something. Let's see. Okay, it is saying that so for endpoint agent temper protection must be disabled before installing. So, guys, basically, if you want to uninstall. Uh, from, uh, from here or let's say for example it has multiple modules like web protection tamper protection uh, ransomware protection file protection web pro there are many protections which we will be looking into the future tutorials in the coming tutorials we will be doing one by one but for the overview and the understanding let me tell you this all modules are there if you want to just uh, you know turn off the module like let's say for example if you want to turn off the web filtering module for any of the reason so you have to sign in even for if you want to uh, like uninstall it it was saying that temper protection is enabled disable it so this is basically a temper protection uh, what you will do you will be going to uh, the sophos central and from there we will be disabling the temper protection this is again one tutorial where we will be looking after this how to turn off the services how to disable temper protection but for now i am just giving the overview so this is basically a overview and thereafter if you go to this is our client pc2 where we have installed Sophos agent here as well. If you will see, the Sophos agent is installed over here as well. Give some time and it will be shown because the machine has just rebooted. It is just due to you know that I'm running out of the resources for this virtual machine. That's the reason it is a bit slow. But anyhow, uh, I will show you uh, the Sophos Central. We have installed the Sophos over here, right? So it is giving you Sophos endpoint agent, which means uh, the Sophos is installed in this machine. And you can see over here, uh, it is being installed. Okay, let me take you to the Sophos Central and just uh, show you something. Uh, go to back to the overview. Go to endpoint protection from the dashboard. Go to endpoint protection over here. And going over here, you will just click on computers. So you will see that we have installed the Sophos endpoint in two machines and on the Sophos dashboard. So I mean Sophos central, it is reflected, right? Now over here, when you click on computers, it is giving you the details about the computer. It is giving you the IP address of the particular machines, which is the operating system, what all protection parameters are configured and when it was last active. These details are being given. Apart from that, if you click on people over here, it will give you the username of those machines, um, in the machine on which you have installed the endpoint, uh, the users which are running on that, even that it will give because in Sophos, uh, when you deploy a policy, just let me take you to the policy and give you the overview. Some of the policies are configured on the computers, whereas some of the policies are being configured on the user base. Like when you configure a web protection policy, a web policy, at that time it will be web control policy, it will be Moreover, deployed on the user rather than the computer. It will be a user-based policy. That's the reason it take a control of the people as well as the computer. I mean the physical machine itself. So, guys, this was all about the installation of the antivirus or you can say a Sophos endpoint agent on the Windows client machine. Similarly, I will be installing uh, this clients on the servers as server as well, Windows server as well. And we will be proceeding with the policy. So in the coming tutorial, we will be looking how to turn off the certain of the parameters. Like uh, if you want to turn off the web, uh, web protection filter or you want to turn off the temper protection, how you will do that, how you will enable or disable the temper protection. Uh, These all things we are going to see. Again, temper protection, when we will be looking, we will be looking how you can disable it from the Sofo Central, how you can disable it from the user. And these all things we will be looking into the next tutorial. So that's all for this tutorial guys thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial